Hey guys, so I've been trying to tape this video. I think I've maybe taped this twice now, and I've just not been satisfied with it. And I get really discouraged when I tape a video, and it ends up being really, really long. And I have to do a lot of work to really edit it down to get to the 10 minute mark. And I've been trying really hard to make some of my videos less than 5 minutes. Because I think sometimes 10 minute videos are really hard to sit through, and sometimes people get a little bit of impatience. Um, so today's video is going to be some books that I've recently read. Most of them, with exception of one, actually all of them with exception of one, I really, really enjoyed. And some of these were recommendations from some of my subscribers. So I really want to thank people who um, gave me some recommendations from my last um, What I'm Reading video. Alright, so I'm just going to randomly start and pick books. Uh, the first one that I'm going to talk about is from a series called The Mortal Instruments. And there's three books in this series, um, I believe. City of Ashes, City of Glass, and City of Bones. And the first one is City of Bones, which is this book here. This was written by Cassandra Clare. This series encapsulates basically all of the supernatural world. Um, there's vampires, werewolves, there's angels and demons, and there's um, basically anything you could think of. Uh, slithering creatures with ten mouths and... Um, they smell bad and they're slimy and all kinds of things. Um, and I thought it was a really interesting story. This author is very descriptive and she's basically painted a whole new sort of reality um, that goes along with the story that she's created. And I really liked that. Now, the only thing about that is I get a little bit impatient with certain types of details at some point in the story. I kind of am more interested in the dialogue between the characters and the main plot of the storyline. Um, and at some point I get a little bit frustrated and I don't want to really hear about, oh, every description of the outfit she's wearing and the description of every room that she goes into. And so there's, there's a little bit too much description for me, but when I get irritated like that, I kind of just start skimming through things until I get to something that um, is interesting to me. Um, so this storyline, there's a couple of main characters. It's written in the third person, but I think it's pretty easy to follow along. Uh, the author gives you good clues about who's talking, um, and you get a little bit more insight into every character's sort of internal thought process than maybe just one who would be the main character. Um, and then this story, uh, basically there's like the supernatural world and the, the real like world that normal humans live in. And that normal humans don't know about the supernatural world. And there's this group of people, um, and they're called shadow hunters in this book, um, and these people have special powers, and they fight um, all the demons and the bad, bad creatures of the world so that human and so that humankind is basically safe. And so there's um, the main character's name is Clarissa or Clary they call her in the book, and um, she stumbles upon these shadows shadow hunters and she becomes friends with them and they start going on all of these crazy adventures. And there's a really interesting sort of love triangle that goes on. Um, I thought it was a really interesting book. I enjoyed the characters. I enjoyed reading all three books. And if there was a fourth book, I would definitely read it. I the second series that I'm going to talk about is by L.J. Smith. And this is the author that wrote The Vampire Diaries, which is a series of books that became a TV show. And I had never read anything by this author before. Um, this one, like I said, is called The Secret Circle. It's two books, and the first book is called The Initiation and the Captive Part 1, and the second book is called The Captive Part 2 and The Power, and it's like two sort of mini books that are in uh, a larger book, so it's like two books within one, and um, this one's a little bit different than any of the other series I've been reading recently or that I've talked about recently. This one's about witchcraft and witches, and... Uh, the main character in this book is called Cassie, and um, there's a love interest in this book as well. There's some girls that really like her, some girls that don't. Um, Cassie comes into the reality of becoming a witch um, kind of unexpectedly, and she doesn't realize that she comes from a special family, uh, so it's kind of an interesting storyline in that aspect. I did not like this um, series of books very much. Um, I thought that the storyline was a little bit contrived. I thought it wasn't very realistic. I didn't think it really got very into um, witchcraft and witchery. And this girl basically comes into witchcraft after having no knowledge. And the storyline takes place over a six-week period of time. And in that time, she 
learns how to do all this crazy stuff, um, but I just didn't think it was very realistic. And then I got to like the end of the second um, larger book, and there was like two pages of like the main plot coming to um, a point, and then it was over. And I was like, are you serious? I read these two like 400 page books just for that. So I was a little bit disappointed in this. So the last series that I want to talk about is the Vampire Academy series. And uh, this was actually recommended to me by someone on YouTube, but my mom and grandma also brought this series over in a bag of books for me to read. I loved this series so much. Um, there's going to be six books in this series. There's five currently released or out in publication right now. Um, I loved it so much when I started reading this. There was only four books released, and luckily enough for me, the fifth book was released May 18th. And I started reading this a couple weeks before that, so I only had to wait a couple of weeks to get through this. But I read through the first four, and I like could not put it down. This book does have a little bit different terminology, um, sort of like Harry Potter, where there's kind of like made-up words. There's things called dampers, which are basically half humans, half uh, vampire offspring. There's living vampires, which are um, made by two vampires mating, and they make a baby, and that's called a morwa. It's a living vampire. And then the last type of vampire is your evil vampire, and these are called strigwa. So basically, it kind of happens in the same way um, that the norm normal vampire stories happen, where um, a human or a damper or a living vampire, they get bit, um, their blood is drained from their body, and then there's some kind of transfer of blood, and they become the strigwa. And the strigwa um, are immortal, they live forever, they are soulless, they're evil, and they're kind of the antagonist to the story. And so, in this story, the living vampires and the um, dampers, the half-vampire, half-humans, go to school together, and there's a whole, like, interaction with all of these different characters and how the society works, but I don't want to get too much into that because I think it's a little confusing and I don't want to give too much of that away to you. But the story is written in the first person from the main character, and her name is Rosemary Hathaway. And she is a beautiful, vivacious, um, punchy... She's got a lot of spunk, she's got attitude, she is really strong um, and independent, and she's just a really cool character. And then the, uh, her best friend is Lissa, and so they're always together. There's a couple of love interests. Um, I thought the storyline was really intriguing and different, something different than I'd read before, and I enjoyed it so much that I, I'm in the middle of the fifth book, and I... Um, I'm kind of depressed because I know that the sixth book isn't going to come out till December. Uh, those are the three series that I basically started and finished since taping the last video. And then I read um, the new House of Night novel that came out maybe a month ago, which I really enjoyed. I think that one was called Tempted. And then I also read the new Sookie Stack House novel. Uh, I believe that was called Dead in the Family as well. So I've read like 12 books in the last like three weeks. Uh, I've been really enjoying that. It's one of the reasons I haven't been taping so many videos recently. I hope this gave you guys some inspiration for things to go out and look for. Um, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.